First of all, let me say, Harris, that those two leaders are supposed to come out to the Rose Garden in an hour to give a press conference. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose of that would be. The president sat there answering questions for far longer than he will at the press conference. But it remains unknown and unclear what is going to happen with any kind of trade deal with China. China seems to be backing away from the deal that they had on the table with the United States, perhaps because they're looking at these poll numbers that we see across the country that President Trump disputes that show that President Trump would lose in a matchup against the top six Democrats. Uh, they were apparently waiting for the outcome in the Mueller investigation. Investigation before moving ahead. When that came out in the president's favor, China sort of capitulated and said, okay, we'll do a deal. And then somebody somewhere said, well, wait a minute, maybe he's not going to make it through the 2020 election to another four years. But the president is going to be meeting, according to the president today, uh, what he's saying with President Xi at the G20. Just yesterday, he said, I think there will be a meeting. The Chinese have not committed to one yet. Uh, so that is still a little bit unclear, though the president seemed to be much more definitive today in saying that there will be a meeting. But in terms of, of where we go with China and trade, I think the only question left to ask about that, and maybe I will if I get an opportunity to at the press conference, is how long does the president wait to do a deal with China before he hits them with the 25 percent on the remaining $325 billion in Chinese goods in terms of tariffs? Well, that would be one question about how long does the president wait to kick in what he's going to do. The other would have to be in reference to Mexico, because the president mm -hmm. just said uh, there's a potential phase two if Mexico right. does not continue to keep its word uh, south of our southern border with them in terms of holding asylum seekers in that country and dealing with the influx of migrants into the United States, putting those 6,000 Mexican troops on a border yeah. to hold them at bay. It, look, I, if it doesn't continue, phase two. What do we know about hmm. phase two? Well, I, I don't know that the asylum uh, issue is on the table just yet. The president is going to let Mexico uh, take these moves that it is making in terms of putting the National Guard, 6,000 troops, Mexican National Guard on the southern border with Honduras to see if they can reduce the migrant flows. Right. But uh, a, a, a very sharp photographer from the Washington Post yesterday got a shot of that letter that the president was holding up. And it clearly says in the final paragraph, when you blow it up, that if Mexico doesn't take significant actions within 45 days, the U.S. will implement a plan. And we don't ex know exactly what that plan is because we couldn't read that part of the paper. But what President Trump has talked about is this imposition of tariffs beginning at 5 percent, ratcheting up monthly to 25 percent. So, and, and also, uh, the foreign minister of Mexico, Marcelo Ebrard, said on Monday that if Mexico doesn't significantly curb the flow of migrants through Mexico to the United States within 45 days, it may take steps to become what's known as a safe third country, which would mean that migrants who move up through Mexico could only claim asylum in the United States in Mexico, and that if they crossed the border into the United States, they would be ineligible. So there's, there's a lot that we still don't know about this. The president calls it a secret deal. Uh, that photographer from the Washington Post made it a little less secret than it was uh, yesterday, but there's still a lot that we do not know about it. But there seems to be a, a window of 45 days uh, being here, a crucial element. Harris? All right. John Roberts giving us the headlines out of that extensive Q&A that was not yet the news conference inside the, uh, the Oval <laughs> Office with the Polish president, Kornhauser Duda. A lot of news being made. Thank you, John. You're